Hey team, welcome back. My name is Mike Soon and this is the channel where you get updates on tech and lifestyle. Today we are going to review this minimalist, quiet wireless keyboard from Logitech, the K580. Let's go! Bye. Bye. Okay, now before we get started, let me just say if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. It would really help the channel grow. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. See, Logitech created a variety of keyboards made for specific things. They created a keyboard for Mac and also for Windows. But this one right here is for both Windows and Mac. Now let's see what's included in the box when you receive the keyboard. When you open up the box, you will see this keyboard inside. And under this gray bar is where you will find the USB Type A dongle. First impression on the packaging is that this one has a low profile layout. It's simple and it doesn't really stand out in any way. What it is is it looks sleek and slim if it's on top of my desk. If you check out the material, you can see that it's made out of plastic. It's not low quality, but it's not super high quality either. So don't expect much. On the back, you can also see that it's made out of plastic. It has a nice hump to elevate the keyboard up a bit for a more ergonomic typing experience. It's also a nice spot where you can hold it and carry it with you. It's not heavy and it fits just nice on the bag. There are also rubber grips which prevents the keyboard from sliding on the desk. The gray bar is also plastic but has that glossier finish. It's a tray where you can put your phone, a small tablet, or maybe a pen. I like this because this is a multi-device keyboard and I'll tell you more of that later. You can connect your phone to the keyboard for easier typing or a tablet. I tried putting my Huawei MatePad Pro into it but it cannot hold up. So as I mentioned earlier, you can remove the gray bar on top of the keyboard and inside you can see the USB Type-A dongle and also two AAA batteries which is also included. There is also a power button here but I don't think you will be using it that much because this keyboard is rated for 24 months for two years. It means you won't be changing your batteries that often. I'm not sure if there are keyboards that last up to two years on battery life but this one does. Logitech designed it in a way that it doesn't use up much power. It has an auto sleep feature when not in use and the keys are not backlit. It would be a nice option though. Now for its typing experience, is it the best in the world? No, but it does have a good key travel and good to use. The keys are flat and pretty basic but very functional. The mechanism is quiet but it can be clicky if you want it to. Typing on it feels familiar. The button seems to be placed on areas they should be. I didn't have much errors typing on it and I like how good the key travel is. The keyboard can be used by both Windows and Apple laptops with a start and command button provided at the bottom left of the keyboard. It doesn't seem to disconnect from my laptop and tablet when I use it even coming from a sleep mode or standby. Connection is pretty solid and very responsive. Before I forget, I mentioned earlier that this is a multi-device keyboard. It means you can connect up to two different devices all you have to do is press the button to switch from device 1 to device 2. Very convenient and fast. The buttons provided like the volume control, brightness, and other function keys are really easy to use. It has an numeric keypad on the right which makes the keyboard a bit longer. But it's okay. This is way better than the Mumuso Bluetooth keyboard that I have which disconnects often. For this one, no disconnection even on standby, even when your laptop is shut down, open it up, and it connects so fast. So if you need a Bluetooth keyboard for your laptop, desktop, tablet, or phone, you will be very satisfied with this purchase. Before I fail to mention, we are aiming 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'm really looking forward to your support. We're going to give away some really cool stuff on this channel, so please subscribe. The price of this keyboard would range around 2,800 pesos up to 3,400 pesos. Look it up on Shopee and you can get the best price there. That is it for the video, hope you like it. If you do, smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified on our future updates. Again, my name is Mike Soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Bye.